been a while, so I'm here with uh, Stevie from Twisted Burrito here in Evans, Georgia. Check it out if you haven't had the chance. How's business? Outstanding. Cool. We're going to do some cool things on the Rec Tech today. We're going to do some wasabi mashed potatoes over here, and we're going to do an ap apricot glazed uh, pork tenderloin. So first thing we're going to do is get these potatoes on, get those rolling away. So put some water in the pot and go put these on the Rec Tech, and now I'll show you how to make this glaze with this uh, pork tenderloin. See you at the Rec Tech. Hey, it's great to cook on the Rec Tech with pots. We got uh, the grill preheated to 350. The great thing about using this, you don't have to worry about scorching anything. That's not really an issue with potatoes, but we got the grill preheated to 350. Get those potatoes rolling. See you inside. So we're going to take 16 ounces of apricot preserves. I think that's 16 ounces. Is it 18 ounces actually? To make this glaze, put the whole jar in there. All right, then we're gonna take some honey rib rub, your favorite uh, rub with some brown sugar in it, maybe that you use on ribs. We're gonna put about uh, three tablespoons of that, four ta that's about four or five tablespoons, which is fine. And we're gonna put um, a little bit of barbecue sauce. How many tablespoons? Three, four to five? Three, three to five, whatever, you're, whatever you like, man. Stevie uh, is not mic'd up, so we're having technical difficulties. Difficulty, difficulties, difficulties. So if you have trouble hearing them, we apologize. So we're gonna put a, about a quarter cup of a barbecue sauce in here, and then all we're gonna do now is whisk that, those ingredients together, and this is gonna be our um, marinated base also. So we're gonna put this on the pork, and we're gonna also base the pork with this as it cooks. We got the Rectech going at 350. Got these ingredients on. And all I'm gonna do is drizzle a little bit over the top, I get stuck with salmon. Yeah, Stevie's uh, not a big salmon fan. Drizzle it on the top, rub this in like so. Get this goodness from the bottom here. And you know what I'm going to do for good measure? I'm also going to hit it just with a little more of our rub. Just one time and then we'll continue to baste throughout the cook. All right, so we got that ready to roll. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. We're gonna get these guys on. It's gonna take about an hour and 45 minutes at 3.50. I'll give you the cook times we're done. We'll see when that thing comes off. Okay, we're an hour in and we're just gonna baste it. She's starting to color up. This grill was barely seasoned in, so it would color a lot better if the grill had more seasoning. That's it. Got about another 45 minutes to an hour to go. All right, so we had this guy. It took exactly an hour and a half at uh, 350. We hit an internal of 140. Now what I want to do is just lightly tin it in full, let this rest about 15 minutes. We're going to finish those uh, wasabi mashed potatoes while it's resting. So we'll see you when we start eating. See you in a minute. All right, so we got these potatoes. They take about two and a half hours at 350 uh, on the Rectech. We're going to put them on. I've uh, melted... A, about a, a little less than a pint of he heavy cream and a stick of butter. We're going to put these in there now and mash it. And then we're going to add a little wasabi. So he's going to mash these up. What you want to do with the wasabi after they're mashed, just drizzle some on the top, mix it in, taste it, and do it to your taste. Some people like it just a hint of it. Some people want it a little heavy. I want just a little more than what I would call a hint. And then we'll uh, plate that pork up. See you in a minute. What do you call a hint? All right, so we let this rest about uh, 10 minutes. Let me just show you guys here. Tell me that's not the juiciest pork ever. All right, so we got this guy finished, man. We got the um, wasabi mashed potatoes. It's pork loin. Man, you can't beat it. It's like $12 or $13 at Costco, and it's world class. We're full. We've been shooting a lot of videos, so we're going to share a taste here. They're on point, aren't they? I did a practice run last night. It just can't get any more moist. 
Ừ, ừ, bay đây ừ, ừ, ừ. Man, you can't beat it. Check out RecTechGrills.com. You won't be sorry. We'll see you next time around. Thanks for cooking with me, man. Nice work. See you later.